Hello everyone. We will continue the topic classical reports. And in the previous videos, we developed a classical report in which the output is using right statement, but we fetch data only from the one table that is order header table. And we all know in any report, whenever you are displaying the output through right statement, that is called as classical report. Now we will further move on to slowly, slowly complex examples. Now we will develop a classical report in which the output is from two tables. One is order header table and one is order item table. We all developed two tables as a part of a BAP dictionary. One is order header table and one is order item table. Now we will display the output from both the tables. Now, if I will discuss the requirement, what is the requirement? Selection screen means input screen. The input will be order number and it will be with the help of select option. Means user will pass multiple order numbers so we can say range of order number and it will be mandatory. You all know whenever you want to make select option or parameter mandatory, you need to use the keyword obligatory. So this is our input and this is our output. Output is from two tables. One is order header table and one is order item table. From the order header table, we are taking how many column? One, order number, order date two, payment mode three, currency four. We are taking four columns from order header table, two columns from order item table, order item number and item cost from which table, order item table. So four columns data we will display from order header table. Two columns data we will display from order item table. This is our full requirement and lots of learnings will be there in this particular classical report. So firstly, we will start with the program. We all know we need to go to which transaction code? SC38 transaction code to develop a program. Now I will give some name to the program. Suppose I am saying ZPRG4. I will write classical report. And this is from two tables. I will write classical report from two tables. I will go for create. You can give any title. It's your wish. You can give any name to the program. Suppose I'm giving a meaningful title to display the order details using which table order header and order item tables. I will take the type as executable program we, because we will execute the program. I will go for save. I will save it as a local object. And I will activate the program. Firstly, we will go step by step. Firstly, we will work on the input part. So what is the input? What is the input in our program? Input is with the help of select option and input is order number means we will give range of order number or we will give multiple values of order number. So whenever you want to give multiple inputs of order number or range of order number, we will create select option and what the keyword select options tab. I will give some name to the select option. I am writing S underscore O N O 4. Now I am writing L V underscore O N O. So many times we did same to same thing. Now I will receive a syntax error because I need to declare now L V underscore O N O. 
सो आई विल डिक्लेयर डेटा एल वी अंडर स्कोर ओ एन ओ आई विल राइट टाइप एंड आई विल पास द डेटा एलिमेंट ऑफ ऑर्डर नंबर This is our data element of order number. I'll check the syntax and activate the program. So now, this variable, if I will double click on the data element, is of numeric ten. You are using this variable for select option. It means this select option is of numeric ten. Whenever I will run, you can see. Input multiple input, or we can say range of order number. Multiple inputs of order number is ready, but end user will not understand s underscore o n o. Customer will not understand s underscore o n o. So how I will give that description? Go to text element selection text, and I will choose dictionary reference. You can manually pass also. It's your wish. I will activate. Now I will run. So now our input part is ready. We'll go step by step. So our input is ready. Now we will come on to the output part. What is the output? Output from how many table? Two table. One is order header table. One is order item table. There is no existence of item if header is not there. Item is totally, totally dependent on the header. Yes, this is we studied already as a part of a BAP dictionary. Item is totally, totally dependent on what header. header. Now, firstly, we will see from the header table you are fetching the data of how many column? Four columns. It means. You will fetch that data of four columns from header table. You will bring that data on the application layer, and where you will store, you will store into internal table. It means we need to create a internal table of how many column? Four column. One will be order number, order date, payment mode, and currency. Now we will come on to next part. Now, from order item table, you are fetching data of how many column? You are fetching data of two columns. Means you will write a query to fetch data from which table? Order item table. Now, data will again come on to which particular layer? Application layer. It means we need to store somewhere. It means we will create a internal table. So now we will create a internal table of how many column? Based upon the current scenario, people will say it's two. One is order item number and one is item cost. But we will take order number also in the second structure. Why? Why? Because the order number is common between both of them. In between order header and order item, what is common field? What is common column? Order number is called a common column. So while whenever we will go for order item table, yes, we will take order number also. Yes, we are not displaying order number from order item, but yes, to match to fetch the data, yes, we need to take order number from order item table also because it is the common column between both the table. But the relationship between the table. The relationship between both the tables is based upon order number only. Now, what will be our next step? We will create two internal tables. One is for order header. One is for order item. For the order header table, our internal table will consist of how many column? Four column. For order item, our internal table will consist of how many column? Three columns. It means whenever you want a internal table, the first thing you create structures. You create structure types. So we will create two structures, two internal table, two work areas, and we will start with the same. So firstly, we will create a structure type. 
for order header table. We all know whenever we want to create a structure type through coding, the keyword is types. Best part, I told so many times that you can open that table and copy paste from there itself. I'm writing begin of first structure type name. Suppose I'm writing LTY underscore data. What is first column? You require order number. Type. Data element of order number. Now you require order date. Type data element of order date. Now you require to payment mode, sorry, because total amount is not required. Type data element of payment mode. Now we require CUR currency, CURR. Type data element of currency. Now I will end the first structure type. I put dot. My first structure type has been ended, and it this structure type I created by using which particular table order header table. Now I will declare the internal table and work areas. You all know how to declare data, internal table, type table of. Whenever you are using structure type to declare an internal table, the keyword is type table of. Now I will declare work area. LWA underscore data type. LTY underscore data. So my first structure, first internal table and first work area is ready. Now, same way, I will go for second structure type now. Types. Begin off. Now, suppose name is LTY data one. Best practice. Now I will open the order item table. Always go by this way because copy paste less mistakes will be there. What is first column? Order number. I already told you order number you need to take. Yes, we are not displaying order number from item table. We are displaying from header only. But yes, it is a common column. So while fetching data, this will play a vital role. Data element of order number. Now, but the second column we want to display order item number. Type. Data element of order item number. Now, but then next column we have taken item cost. Item cost. Type. Data element of item cost. I will end the second structure type. Now I will declare the internal table and work areas. I will copy, paste, and now I will make LT data one, one, one. I'll check the syntax and activate. So what we studied in this particular video, we took one requirement and in that requirement input is order number and output is details of order number. But the output is from two tables, header table and item table. So based upon the output, Four columns are from order header table. Two columns are from order item table. Then what we did, we created two structure types, one for order header table, one for order item table. We declare the internal table and work areas. 
and we created a select option. We created a select option by select option because we have input, we have multiple in multiple order numbers, or we can say we have range of order number. So these are always a step-by-step -step learning. Whenever you receive that kind of requirement, always start with input first, then check for the output. Based upon that, just go for the declaration of internal table and work areas. Now in the next video, we will write the open SQL queries. Now we will write two open SQL queries, one to fetch data from order header table, now one to fetch data from order item table. This part we will do in the next video. That's it in this video. Thank you.